Beginning in the fall of 2015, Chinbro Cruise in Annapolis, Maryland had an important mission to build a new bulkhead for the state's picturesque capital. Renovations at the waterfront facility that would replace a crumbling bulkhead that had been built in the 1970s. Basically here they had an old bulkhead or seawall that had seen its better days. It was failing I mean, it was becoming a problem. So basically what happened, there were new sheet piles that were driven down. The elevation shot on the sheet piles, cut to the elevation. Um, after they were cut, the old concrete and part of the old sheet wall system was removed. So we went through a demolition process. There was roughly 700 foot plus or minus a new seawall to put in. So as that work progressed with the demolition, the new concrete work started right behind it. So everything has been like a stepping stone till we get to the end. It was time for an upgrade. So the utilities, uh, they're getting brand new electric power pedestals, state-of-the-art new fire protection system. One of the primary uses for this area is twice a year they have the Annapolis Inwooder Boat Show. So when the boat show rolls around, they actually fill this area with new floating docks and boats and you could walk from one side of the slip to the other just straight across the boats and the docks and it's pretty impressive so it was time for an upgrade for all the utilities to support that boat show they do twice a year. The importance of the waterfront's event schedule translated into importance for Chinbro's crews as they pressed ahead with the project through the fall and winter of 2015 and 2016. The team took possession of the job site in the last week of October after the fall boat show with the knowledge that they had to be completed and off-site by the first week in April. That's when the spring boat show would get underway and no matter what challenges faced the construction team, that completion date could never change. It turns out that some of the challenges were pretty significant and unique, like the need to take archaeology into consideration as the project moved forward. We fought the weather. We fought the tide, we fought hundreds of years of Annapolis buried in the ground here, and we just took it one step at a time and overcame every challenge that we came across. We had a lot of new duck work going in. Most of it was approximately four foot down in the ground. So Annapolis being an old historical city as it is, there were several archaeologists that were present during some of our excavations. They would map things out, draw things out, pick up artifacts. One of the more interesting things we uncovered was an old wooden roadway that was supposedly dating back to the late 1700s, something like that, that serviced the waterfront. So as the work progressed, the archaeologists were drawing maps, taking notes, and also obtaining artifacts. In the 1800s, there was a sawmill and lumber yard and a grist mill over on the one side of the job and um, found some old foundations and all kinds of stuff in that area that kind of show where those buildings used to be. So the city of Annapolis hired an archaeologist that was present for all our excavation and they were able to document the existing foundations and the old timbers that we came across. You never know when you get in the ground around here. Annapolis is one of the oldest working harbors in the U.S. So you start digging in the ground, you never know what you're going to find. Topping off the list of challenges, the project also required plenty of heavy construction operations in the tight urban setting. Nonetheless, Chinbro's team was able to develop a cordial friendship with the citizens who went about their daily lives down near the job site. They see us out here stretching in the morning. You know, we have our cheerleaders, our joggers in the morning always wave when they go by. And it really, there's a sense of pride with the crew on what we're doing and the community sees it and they really appreciate what we're doing down here. Since we've been here, everybody's been very positive, very friendly. A lot of people are asking questions, you know, so it's, it's been all good. If somebody usually will stop and ask questions, there are team members that will definitely respond positively. Uh, we set up a lot of vibration monitors to monitor what was going on while we performed our work to kind of put the residents at ease. So we knew what was going on. So there's been a lot of community outreach, a lot of precautions, and a lot of focus on our part of just being part of the community, not being a problem to the community. So it's been a really good effort, support the local businesses around us, and uh, I think they're looking forward to a nice new bulkhead. It's really gonna be a, a nice product when we get out of here. Basically, you had a deadline and that date had to be met. There were no 
time extensions given, not for weather or not for problems that we uncovered during the construction. And Chimbro as a team has met those deadlines. And I think when people step back and look at the tight time constraints and the challenges that were involved with those time constraints, that's quite an accomplishment for Chimbro.